Morning, folks. It's morning here, anyway. Um, hello, I should say. Um, bit of an update for you. I just woke up. I got blurry eyes. My sleep is way screwed up right now. Just to let you know, hopefully it'll get back together soon. Finding myself having to take naps in the afternoon uh, because I'm just, you know. Anyway, I spent the majority of the day on and off yesterday with um, Indrima. And um, so I will be ordering in the Indrima vinyl today. Uh, I've already sent in the paperwork waiting for the quote. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Um, I, um, I'm excited again about the Hindrima release. Um, started to get a little bit stressed out about it, but um, yesterday was Nick's 28th birthday, and um, so it was um, kind of appropriate to try to wrap things up kind of in a way for his birthday. You know, in Dreamo, really, it's a band now, but the first album is actually more a solo album in which myself and many other people participated in and became a band. So, um, so it's really Nick's baby, but it's ours now as well. But um, it's good. It's much different from what I'm doing. Um, it's definitely going to be something that will uh, appeal to part of the audience that watches me. You, younger people, I would say for sure, um, that are into um, the psychedelia and electronica. It's got a bit of both. I'm excited. Um, I, um, I can't show you the artwork today. I didn't do the artwork. Um, a young lady that Nick used to date, Sierra Joy, did the artwork. I'm really pleased with it, though. Very happy with it, how it came out. I don't know how much interest there still is in the Indrima Vinyl here in the Vinyl community. So I'm not going to announce pre-orders or anything. I'm going to wait for a while. And um, partially what I'll wait for is some kind of input to see if anyone is interested in pre-ordering or if, if it's fine to just wait to see it, whether or not you want it and hear it. Um... Some in Dream of Music is online. Some of it's here on my page, some live clips. Can you search my channel? I, I know I can search my channel. You know, search in Dreama if you want to see what we sound like. And then you folks that have the split, you know, that's one example. But that's just one part of in Dreama. Anyway, <clears throat> that's going on today. I'm in business. And, uh, you know, being in business right now, it is. It's a it's a bit of a tightrope walk. I'm not able to do this the way I would ultimately like to do, which is I'd like to complete one and move to the next, and uh, I can't. I just have to. I have to kind of make this leap of faith. I got to dive in. <clears throat> if that were if this works now, if you remember when I first made my record, there was for a minute was to talk about well, if it works, then maybe I'll do a, I'll think about doing a comp, and then I said, nah, I don't want to do that, and honestly, I still don't. But I'll tell you this, if I can, and I have to do it like this, I have to kind of base it on what's going on. If I can have a success with Derek 2 and with uh, Indrema, if I can sell enough to them, not just to recoup what I made, but, you know, that I can move forward, I'll, um, I'll, I will return to the uh, possibility of doing a, um, BC compilation. Now, here's the other part that's hard about doing that. It's just as just as hard as it, as it is for me to receive criticism. I would then be the one that has to dole it out because I'm not going to release music that I don't think is good. And I'll, honestly, people do tell me about music and I see people buying records that I don't think are good, that I wouldn't put out. And uh, I don't feel obligated to put your music out because you're my friend or because I know you. So I got to put that out right away. If I were to do it, it you know, it's going to be, I'm going to do it my way, you know, and I'm going to, it's going to be whether or not I think it's any good. So I'll throw that out there. The last thing I want to do, because I don't want to keep this long, um, is that someone yesterday asked if I would show some of my collage work and potential album covers. 
Yeah, okay. Thanks for being interested. Um, recently, what I've been doing is working on some artwork for the insert for Indrima. And I haven't done any physical collages lately. I've been working online. I've been working on, not online, but on the uh, computer. But I have a bunch here that I had made up that I will, I'll show you some of these, okay? And um, once again, revisiting things I've talked about, I had said for a minute there that um, one of the ways I was, one of the things I was thinking of doing to raise income to live on is to maybe do a raffle of some of my test pressings with these individual covers. And um, since then, I pulled back from the idea mainly because I sold one of these to a very good close friend and dear fan. And that was really hard. I didn't want to sell it to him. I didn't want to give it up. <laughs> so um, these are like, these are pieces of art to me. So here's, here's one. And um, as I was saying when I was making these, I use all kinds of magazines and art books for my sources, life magazines, fashion magazines. And then on the back, I'll use like either a picture or a, or a postcard out of my collection. And these can take hours to do. <clears throat> I imagine like any other artist, once you do the art, you get attached to it. I really like these and I like just looking at them. I really don't want to sell them. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I'd like to, um, I mean, if I, again, if I had the money, I would make a series of records, some of my ambient stuff, and I'd use, I would use one of these covers for um, one of those releases, or if I could afford a series of them. That's what I would do. Yeah. There's that eye. You know, um, for me, the eye is always there. It wasn't intentional here, but the eye is there. See it? There's the eye. There, that, that represents an eye. <clears throat> it was subconscious. I didn't even think about it until after the fact. But the eye is always there. Love this one. Riots of Color. Here's an early one when I was still um, kind of getting things together. I, I feel like my style continues to improve. What I'm doing now on the computer is even um, moving along. Uh, Glowing Cabbage noticed. He's an artist. Thanks, Jeff. You noticed. Yeah, it's, They're getting better. Here's one. I like this one a lot. And these things are physical. It's stuff cut, shaped, and pasted, and composed. Picture from uh, Mount Hood up in Oregon. There's another one. Yeah, I got a psychedelic mind. It's been psychedelic, psychedelicized from permanently. Acid damage, you want to call it that, and that's cool. But yeah, even as I show this to you, and I'm looking at at the the uh, the works, I love these. I don't want to sell these, and so that's why I said, and I didn't mean it arrogantly. I meant it very very seriously. If anybody is interested in these, these are one of a kind. You know, we're starting at a hundred bucks, so I don't think I'm going to be selling any of these. I, I don't know, but I'm not interested in money. I need money to live. I'll, this is what I'm interested in. I like the art. I need the money to keep the fucker and man off my back. I don't like money. One thing I like money for is buying records. Couple more. I got. I have quite a, actually quite a few actually. 
probably got maybe 20 that I've done. 25. Riots of Shapes and Colors. You may recognize that that's from um, Cranberries. This is my records, an old picture of my records before the shelves were full. Oh, man. Yeah, I love this. And you can't really, you can only see, you really can't see the detail. Because a lot of these things are individual little cuts and shapes that took me, you know, quite a bit of time to uh, cut out meticulously and, 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 and layer onto here. really like these a lot. I love staring at them. Last one I show is um, this one. Another riot of color. Alrighty, so in Dream is coming up. Have a good day, everyone, or night, whatever it is. See some of you all over on Facebook.